Welcome back, one and all. Let's see if there are any new developments in the news. Shahan? All right, officials are on high alert in western New York and Buffalo as temperatures start rising this morning. Experts say the seven feet of snow which fell this past week will start melting and it could cause floods. Scores of people were stranded in their cars and homes. At least 16 deaths have been blamed on the weather. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says emergency services are on standby. The grand jury is set to continue deliberations on whether or not to indict Officer Darren Wilson. The white policeman shot and killed black teenager Michael Brown in Ferguson on August 9th. A decision was expected this weekend after the police said they would be on high alert. Iran says it will be impossible to come to an agreement on the future of its nuclear program before tomorrow's deadline. An unnamed official says the negotiators might consider extending the deadline, but that has not been finalized. Former Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry has died at the age of 78. His spokesperson did not disclose the cause of death. The scandal-plagued politician, who was jailed for smoking crack cocaine, survived beatings and brutality as an activist. He served four terms as D.C. mayor before falling from grace in 1990, where he was filmed taking drugs in a hotel room. While most political careers would be over, Barry returned from prison to be re-elected mayor for a fourth time in 1994. An outbreak of the plague has killed 40 people in Madagascar. Nathan Frendino has more. On the bustling streets of the Madagascar capital of Antananarivo, a disease lurks in the shadows. Only some of its residents are still in the dark. I don't know about this disease. What is the plague? Since August, an outbreak of the plague in the country has killed 40 people out of 119 confirmed cases. And the World Health Organization fears the disease will spread rapidly in the capital. The bacterial disease is mainly spread from one rodent to another by fleas. Humans bitten by an infected flea can develop a bubonic form of the plague. If the bacteria reaches the lungs, the patient can develop pneumonia and can die within 24 hours. Down the street from one of the city's hospitals, one resident says she worries about preparedness. The basic hospital here can't even take care of cases of serious illnesses because they don't have the facilities. So far, the WHO has not recommended any trade or travel restrictions based on the outbreak. Today is the nine-week anniversary of the pro-democracy protest in Hong Kong, and hundreds of works of art have popped up around the city. Well, one group of activists has made it their business to preserve some of the history before the authorities tear all down. Some of the 200 volunteers regularly walk around the protest sites to collect information. They snap up photos of paintings, banners, installations, and objects that have come to define the movement. While the group's primary aims are to build a digital database, it also hopes to physically preserve some 100 pieces of art and objects. And finally, in our series of stories featuring dumb criminals, a man who tried <laughs> ordering food from a drive through window while on his bike ended up being driven to a police cell. Now, I feel a need to pause so you can take a look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sad he didn't get his tacos. Well, the 33-year-old was told he couldn't get his favorite meal because the store had closed. They threw a, he threw a fit and caused a stir, prompting staff to call 911. As police were asking Harris to leave, he apparently tried pulling out a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Needless to say, he was jailed without those tacos and released on bail at $1,000. Now, that ended up costing a whole lot more. We can give you some chicken wings, right? No, I think we've all had that that kind of night, though. Yeah, like, you know, it was us. late at night, you want your food. Okay, right. wait, so I have to throw Giannis in under the bus for a I second because look. he was totally so drooling while he was <laughs> looking like at the really He literally drooled. Because it's time for, do you like hot stuff? I do. I'm not going to eat those chicken wings. Wow.
Why is that crazy? Try the hummus. Have it's the really hummus. Good. It's really, really tasty. Good. Here. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm always feeding you. <laughs> Jesus. It's just like it's rain bakna, feeds bakna, me. Bakna, 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 hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make up my own words and song it. Uh, do so, you like it? Yeah, I do. Right, I delicious. mean, I know you were. Did, is it everything you were no, hoping it, it would is. be? No, it is. And I need some of that jam. Right. Oh yeah. Would you like me to do it for you? Cheese. You want it on the cheese? I like being a host. That's my job. The holidays are coming up. I love all this. Let me serve you, gentlemen. It's no. It's it's good. It's right. a good level, yes. Yeah. It's the perfect level of hotness. I, well, as yeah. you know, I'm, a, I'm an well, expert. Yesterday right. <laughs> at lunch, you had a hot sauce, and I tried it afterwards. It yeah. was, I couldn't was handle really it. really hot. Yeah. I yeah. want to say, I think, we had, I think we had a really great show today. We had I some think, interesting guests, an too. interesting time, right? And we had hot sauce. And we had hot really sauce. Most you. Important That's the most important thing. I think you're the one put them up to that, right? Right. Where's the booze, though? Did you want one, too? No, I'm good. I'll lead off to the show. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We'll see you again next weekend. Smooches. <laughs> <laughs> Smooch. <laughs>